Number 14, methionine, which is CH3SCH2CH2CHNH2CO2H, is an amino acid found in proteins. It's one of our 20 amino acids, essentially amino acids. The Lewis structure of this compound is shown below. So this whole thing right here. What is the hybridization type of each carbon, oxygen, the nitrogen, and the sulfur? Okay, great question. So we just have to run through those elements and just find out what the hybridization of each. Now just know that hybridization and Lewis structures always go together. So if they did not give us this, this Lewis structure and they just gave us this, the first thing we would have had to do is to draw this. So thank goodness that they gave it to us. Now we can just use our information that we know from hybridization. Now there's a total of five different types of hybridizations. These are just the types of orbitals that are overlapping when you're forming a covalent bond. And the hybridizations are always corresponding to the number of letters that are in them. So for example, an sp has one s and one p orbital, so that's a total of two. sp2 has one s and two p's, that's a total of three letters. sp3 is a total of four letters, and it keeps going and going. Now the number of letters corresponds to the number of things. So if your hybridization has two letters, that just means it got two things going around that atom. If it's got three letters, that means it's got three things going around the atom. But now what constitutes one thing? Well, one thing is either a single bond. One single bond is one thing. One double bond is one thing. Even though there's a double bond, two lines, it's still classified as one thing. The same thing goes for the triple bond. Even though there's three lines, it's still classified as one whole group. And one lone pair of electrons is classified as one thing. So let's just go from left to right here and just do the hybridization for each one. We have to worry about all the carbons, the oxygens, the nitrogen, and the sulfur. So I'm going to look at this carbon first. So we'll point here. And now when we look at that carbon, I can't look at anything else in this Lewis structure. I only look and see what is going on around this carbon. So what does this carbon have? Well, it's got one single bond. That's one thing. It's got another single bond. That's two things. It's got another single bond. That's three things. And it's got another single bond. That's four things. I can't classify these lone pairs because they're not part of carbon. They're part of the sulfur. So the buck stops, whoa, the buck stops here, right? So for this carbon, this one's got four things, so that means four letters. So that's SP3. How easy is that? The first one down. Now as we progress, we're going to be overlapping some things, so I'm just going to erase um, these just to not get confused. So now the next one is the sulfur. So maybe I'll do the line like this. Okay, so what is... What's going on with the sulfur? Well, it's got one thing, right? You see how now I'm reusing a thing because this is part of carbon and the sulfur. So you got to use it with the sulfur. It's got another single bond. That's one thing. So now we're at two things. A lone pair, that's three things. And another lone pair, that's four things. So four things, four letters, same thing as before, sp3, sp3, okay, two down. They're both sp3 hybridized. Let's get rid of these just so that we don't get confused and we're moving on. And let me just, let me just make this a little bit better. Okay, now we're going to this carbon. All right, so let's see, can we get, let's see how fast we can do this, right? What's going on around this carbon? Single bond, one thing. Single bond, two things. Single bond, three things. Single bond, four things. I don't see any lone pairs. So four things, four letters, SP3. Bada bing, bada boom. How easy is that? Next, let's erase. 
We're going on to the next carbon. This guy. So maybe I'll put this one up here. Okay. One, well, let me use a different color. One thing, single bond. Two things, single bond. Three things, single bond. Four things, single bond, no lone pairs. Four things, four letters. SP3. Okay. Erase, moving on. Next, this carbon. So maybe I'll just put maybe like a little one right here, right? What's going on here? Single bond, that's one thing. Two things for the single bond. Three things for the single bond. Four things for the single bond. No lone pairs, nothing else is attached to it. So that's four things. We know what that is, SP3. Next, doesn't matter where we go from here. Let's just finish out the carbons. So now we're gonna look at this carbon. And let's see for this one. It's got a single bond, that's one thing. It's got another single bond here, that's two things. But now I see that I have a double bond. One double bond is one thing. So I only have three things over here. No lone pairs, so three things. Three letters. This carbon is sp2 hybridized. Oh, that's different. Let's erase and go on to the next one. I guess we'll do the oxygens now. So let's do the top oxygen. Okay, so what's surrounding this oxygen? The double bond, that's one thing. One lone pair, that's two things. The other lone pair, that's three things. So three things, three letters, SP2. Okay, so we got two SP2ers. Let's erase. Let's go to the next oxygen. What does this oxygen have? One single bond, that's one thing. Another single bond, that's two things. One lone pair, that's three things. The other lone pair, that's four things. So, four things, four letters. We're back to SP3. Okay? And the last one, we just gotta do the nitrogen. Let's just erase these just to not get confused. And now we have this nitrogen all the way down at the bottom here. What has it go, got going on? It's got this long single bond, that's one thing. It's got another single bond, that's two things. Another single bond, that's three things. And one lone pair, that's a total of four things. So where am I gonna put this one? Over here, four things. SP3. And we are done. How's that? Did we do them all? I'm just scanning. I see all the carbons. I see all the oxygens and nitrogens. Okay, we're good. Whew. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. This one was a great question. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out or not. Um, love talking to you guys. Love seeing how you're doing in your classes. And good luck on your tests and quizzes. All right? Um, yeah. If you wouldn't mind, please help us out by pressing the subscribe button. Just gets the word out there that this YouTube channel exists. And I thank you so much for that. I will be talking to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.